with an aim to provide opportunities for the children in our country, Niti Aayog has initiated a unique program, the Atal Tinkering Lab. The lab is built with a modernistic design approach and cutting-edge facilities. Located within the main buildings of the school, the labs are properly ventilated. The rooms have customized, flexible and easy-to-use workstations that provide the right space and environment to tinker and innovate. The lab is furnished with modular and movable furniture to facilitate better collaboration and teamwork to get the students to share and work together on interesting projects. The lab has been prepared to provide options and opportunities for various levels of tinkering, creating, innovating based on students' inclination. So uh, the farmer has to click on this arrow. Okay. It will provide the farmer with three uh, main buttons for home screen, which is the Fasal Patiya, Mausam Purvanumar and Sarkari Disha Nirdesh. So if the farmer clicks on Fasal Patiya, yeah, this will give the main eight crops of uh, Indian farm, which uh, Indian farmers uh, grow. And so suppose we click on Ganne Ki Fasal. It's quite a maximum care of the population. For example, even if there's like a nuclear deviation, there's a temperature of vaccine, there will be a temperature of vaccine. So we basically had a better sensors, and we started the sensors and we started the sensors. So we think if we use the same idea on a larger scale, a lot of that wastage can be can be saved because just robots are the travel that now they get some waste out. So they have to throw it away because of the temperature change and everything. हमारे भारत का सबसे बड़ा एक्सपोर्ट मार्केट एग्रीकल्चर में और किसान हमारे सबसे ज़्यादा मेहनती लोगों में से एक है देश के दूर कड़ी दूर से लेके कड़कड़ाती ठंड में वो अपने खेत में काम करते हैं तो उनका काम आसान करने के लिए ये एग्रोबॉट है ये इस आम को नीचे करेगा तो उसके बाद आगे अब उसके बाद काम हो गया तो बेसिकली ट्रैक्टर जो ट्रैक्टर काम करता है पर आप ट्रैक्टर में भी उसको ये उसी का एडवांस वर्जन है बेसिकली इससे अभी ये तो बहुत छोटे स्केल पे है इसके बड़े स्केल पे आप लोग घर बनाने लग गए हैं। में के साथ और ये वॉइस फील्ड है जिसमें से मैंने वॉइस डाली है सर टेक्स्ट टू स्पीच करने के लिए स्पीकर आता है not the farmers yeah. not only the farmers who live in like uh, extreme conditions like Hale Ladakh and Siachin, also the yeah. farmers who live in like uh, hard deserts like in Rajasthan. So in this, uh, this is a microcontroller unit. This is the motherboard of the uh, model. So this is connected with Wi-Fi to a mobile phone. So okay. the farmer can uh, sit at their home and they can control. Congratulations. We are starting about biodiversity. So we basically started with germ plastic, which is basically like seeds and how we can grow our plants, export them with other countries, how we can preserve them. We can preserve them with three methods. There's the uh, in liquid nitrogen and then in seed banks. We have set out to give a platform to all the young minds to tinker around and tap on their unnoticed potential. These labs are an initiative towards building our next generation of innovators and leaders by equipping them with future skills like tech creation and enabling them to be solution providers. We saw the new innovation of the student really uh, this is wonderful and there is a need for interact with the student and KBK and how their, 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 their uh, apps uh, multiply in the larger perspective of the farmers. So I thanks to these principals and all the teachers and all the students for doing this good job. What I really liked seeing was how students had empathized on community problems and come up with great solutions. I liked the energy, the zeal with which the students were presenting their ideas. There's a huge potential which uh, the students have of the school and it is being harnessed well with the kind of efforts that the teachers are putting in. Not uh, just one ATL in charge but multiple teachers coming together to drive the ATL initiative as well as the leadership of the school through the principal ma'am who is uh, giving great direction to the tinkering activities and innovation activities in the school. We are in agriculture, so we are thinking that it is sustainable for agriculture. 
इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स इन एग्रीकल्चर कैसे यूज होगा तब को हॉर्टिकल्चर के सेंस में वो भी उन्होंने अच्छे बनाए हुए हैं कि डेजर्ट एरिया में कोल्ड डेजर्ट में कैसे एग्रीकल्चर को सस्टेन कर सकते हैं कई उन्हें सस्टेनेबल एग्रीकल्चर के लिए बनाया है हाइड्रोपोनिक्स के बारे में बताया है इस तरह से हमें काफ़ी अच्छा लगा रोबोटिक का भी काफ़ी इस्तेमाल इन्होंने किया है अंधे आदमियों के लिए भी इन्होंने कुछ उस तरह से बताया है प्रोटोटाइप और हम यही उम्मीद करेंगे कि ये जितने भी अभी प्रोटोटाइप बच्चे बना रहे हैं आगे चल के किसी अच्छे जो भी कोलेबरेटर हो जो इंडस्ट्री से जो इसको एक्चुअल एंड प्रोडक्ट में कन्वर्ट कर सके तो इसका सारा क्रेडिट इन बच्चों को जाएगा और इनके साथ जो इनको गाइड कर रहे हैं मैंटोर कर रहे हैं इनके टीचर्स जो हैं अलग अलग सब्जेक्ट के हैं बायोलॉजी के केमिस्ट्री के कंप्यूटर साइंस के इवन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इनको बताया जा रहा है और उस पर ये रिसर्च कर रहे हैं तो हमें काफ़ी अच्छा लगा आई एम रियली अमेज टू सी द आइडियाज दे हैव कंसीव डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द परसीव नीड ऑफ द फार्मर्स एंड बीइंग नॉट अ रूरल बैकग्राउंड स्कूल इन दिस अर्बन सेटअप द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ अर्बन फैमिलीज and uh, they could perceive the need of the farmers that itself is very amazing and many of those ideas are actually those ideas on which indian council of agricultural research is also working and it will be very good to collaborate with uh, these young minds innovative minds and uh, indian council of agricultural research will be happy to mentor them nurture their ideas support them and uh, we will definitely try our best to uh, bring those ideas to practice we are uh, uh, surprised that even at the age of you know that uh, small age these uh, students and the children have done marvelous job and i really i am very much happy to know that the level of sensitivity among the students to know the problems and to process it further because many times we even the adult people we see some problems and then just we move ahead without knowing the things what is happening what is the implications of those issues but it is very interesting to know this our nation has the bright future with this new generation people and they have come up with an amazing idea and they are showing the prototypes concept and products which i think can be taken up to the higher scale once it is properly mainstream with the science and policy perspective